This is Don DiBartolo, a broker with Daniels Trading. In this video, I'm going to instruct you on how to place futures orders through your broker. I have included a trading ticket to provide you a visual to follow along. Let's get started. The first piece of information you'll want to provide your broker is your specific trading account number. This trading account number was assigned and provided to you when you first opened your account with Daniels Trading. The trading account number can be a series of letters or numbers that just depends on the clearing arrangement. Mr. Broker, I have an order, but first my trading account number is ABC12345. By providing this trading account number, it will ensure that your trade indeed ends up in your individual trading account. Now let's move on to the trade itself. Traders and brokers all around the world use a common language and set of symbols in order to trade in these markets quickly and efficiently. The first thing you want to specify to your broker is whether it's a buy or sell order. Simply stating buy or sell will indicate just that. For this example, let's assume it's a new entry into the marketplace and we are going to be going along. Next is one of two key elements to a trade, quantity. You want to specify how many contracts you will be trading. For this example, we'll be trading two contracts. So Mr. Broker, buy two. We'll indicate just that. Next, you want to specify the commodity and contract month and year of that commodity in which you will be trading. For this example, we will be trading the January 08 crude oil contract. So Mr. Broker, buy two Jan 08 crude oil. There is no need to concern yourself with the symbols used here at this time, but before long you'll be a pro and know that's the Jan 08 crude oil contract symbol. One important note, certain commodities can be traded in two places at the same time. One in the pits via open outcry at the various exchanges like here in Chicago or New York, or two electronically on servers at those same exchanges. Your broker is experienced to know the best route to execute your orders, but if you like, you can specify. And Mr. Broker, I'd like you to place this order on the electronic exchange. Next is the second key element to a trade, price. You'll want to specify to your broker at which price you want to purchase the contract. If that is not of concern to you, you would use a market order. Shown here. Mr. Broker, buy two January 08 crude oil at market if price is of concern. And let's use 89.50 for this example. You would specify this price as well as the order type you're going to be using, either a buy stop or a buy limit. Typically, you would use a buy stop if you were looking to purchase the contract on strength and you would place the order above the current market price. If you were looking for a pullback in the market, you would use a buy limit and place the order below the current market price. Let's do an example of each. Mr. Broker, buy two January 08 crude oil, 89.50 on a stop. Or, Mr. Broker, buy two January 08 crude oil, 89.50 on a limit. To learn more about these order types, that I've touched on, as well as others, uh, please consult the Daniels Trading video on the market order types. And finally, you want to specify the duration of the trade with either a day order or a good till canceled order. A day order is either filled or expired at the end of that trading session and will not be working for subsequent sessions. A good till canceled order will remain working until it's either filled or canceled by you, the client. Let's do an example of each. Mr. Broker, buy two January 08 crude oil, 89.50 limit, day order only. Or, Mr. Broker, buy two January 08 crude oil, 89.50 limit, good till canceled. Well, I hope this was an insightful video on placing futures orders through your broker. One benefit of a Daniels Trading Broker is a second set of eyes and ears taking and executing your orders. At Daniels Trading, our tagline is excellence through execution.